Good evening, Adam here. Uh, today I want to give, uh, real quick, uh, a couple templates, three templates to be exact, for uh, Zettelkasten uh, notes inside of Obsidian. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with the system, essentially the system is a way to organize thoughts from sort of your initial thoughts all the way through to a synthesized, useful, permanent thought. So usually there are sort of four stages or four different types of notes. The first one is fleeting, which is the initial you know, thought just comes to your mind. Then there are literature notes, which is uh, your thoughts and your, your pulling language out of any, uh, anything you're reading or watching. And then uh, your, the third one and the most important is called a permanent note, which is where you have now given your fleeting thoughts more sort of consideration and you put it into a more permanent form with something that you'd actually use. Usually, the fleeting thoughts are somewhat uh, fleeting, as you would as you would say, in that you probably won't get a whole lot of use out of it without a whole lot more thinking. And then the final thing is what's called a mock or a map of content, which is essentially just an index. Uh, and you sort of see indexes develop over time. So I wanted to just show you a couple templates, and, and let me just sort of preface this by saying that there's no perfect template. The templates are not the point. The template's just to sort of get you started. I, if you're spending a ton of time playing with templates and tags and everything else, it's, you're actually just wasting your time. You're, you're procrastinating. So with that in mind, I'm sort of cutting against my own video here. I, but I'm going to give you some links below to paste bin so you can just copy and paste the exact language into three different templates and call it a day. Uh, make sure that you go into your settings and turn on templates, which I want to say is under editor. I, yeah, it's it's under here somewhere, or my maybe under core plugins. Let's let me see one second. Yes, so make sure you turn that on, and make sure you click on settings and create a template folder. Uh, but you can look that up if you want to see how to do templates. This is just this is to show you some specific templates. So you're going to see I have three different templates for uh, Zettelkast, and it's fleeting, literature, map of content. You'll notice I don't have a, a permanent template because my fleeting ones are going to become permanents. So let me show you first what they look like I in their sort of raw form. So you're going to see there's got this funny date, time, I and then here's my mock. So to just sort of show you how this works, you're going to make a new page. So let's just say you have a new fleeting thought. So new fleeting. Uh, and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to, you can set a hotkey, or if you haven't set up hotkeys for this yet, you can open up your command palette, and then you can type in template, and then insert template, and then you can pick out of your folder which template you want to use, and I'm going to use fleeting. It's going to insert it into your document. So you're going to see here that it took the template for fleeting, this date, uh, semicolon, or colon, sorry, with this format, that will actually, when you copy paste it, it will pull the data into your document, which is useful for the fleeting ones, just in case it takes you a minute to uh, turn them into permanent ones. And then you'll just type it out. You know, here's your content. It's no more complicated than that. I, the whole idea is it's supposed to be like a little scrap piece of paper to do fairly quickly. You're not supposed to spend a lot of time on this. That would be defeating the purpose. And then you'll notice I have a fleeting tag on here. It's, I don't use tags very much, but I do use it for this. I, so then you, you can leave the overarching concepts blank for now if you want, if something comes to mind that it ties into some of your other overarching concepts that you think about quite a bit. You can throw something in here, like let's just say this is personal investing, which is something I, I think about a good bit. You can go ahead and tag it if you want. Uh, and then you're done. Uh, write your thing, get back to whatever you're doing. I, simple as that. All right, so let, now let's say you're watching a podcast like I was watching an Alex Ramosi podcast earlier on this evening. So Alex Ramosi podcast. I, and then you're going to go again to command. You're going to go to template, insert template, and then this is going to be literature. So again, I'm going to have the date, it's going to have tags, but then it's going to have a reference. So here's where you put the uh, youtube.com, whatever the link is. You put it here so that you can reference back to it, and then you can quote stuff from it, you can type out your thoughts, whatever you want to do. Uh, and I actually do not delete these. I know some Zettelkast and uh, proponents say to synthesize your, 
you know, your literature notes and put them somewhere else. Uh, you know, put them into a permanent note. Uh, you can, I guess. I, I personally just leave them so that I can remember sort of, I mean, I'm going to pull stuff out of it still to put into permanent notes, but I'm still going to leave the literature note just to have all my thoughts on that topic just in case. I, again, that's just personal preference. So that's why I don't have a tag for this. So there, that's sort of the literature note. So for the fleeting note, I'm going to go sort of back to this because it's got the fleeting tag. The whole point of this is, is that I'm going to turn this into, just basically just turn this into a permanent note. You can leave the creation date if you want to. You can leave the overarching concepts if you want to. But once you're done, give it an additional thought and it's finished, then I'm just going to delete this fleeting tag. And now it's a permanent note. You may need to rename. So you, you know, new term. I just depending on your organizational system, but I just create new permanent notes out of my fleeting notes. If I have a note that's still tagged fleeting, then I'm gonna, you know, need to sort of deal with that, turn it into a permanent note and delete it, or you know, move the move the information over somewhere else. So the final template is for your map of content. So you notice I got a nice little green thing. Let me show you. I'll show you one of mine. So let's just use the same example, personal investing. Well, I guess I have it here, don't I? So this is one of my mocks. And then you're going to see that this is the way it'll format for you. So this is just a nice little, uh, I, I guess they, I guess Obsidian calls them call outs. And it just gives a nice little bit of color. And then I have this is just one of the few other tags I use for mock, just in case. I And really the only purpose of this website, or the mock, is it's, it's an index. So you're going to index your major topics on personal investing. You see I have websites, and I do some uh, real estate, stocks and bonds, etc. And I'm considering getting into some more brick and mortar type businesses. So this is just an index, and you'll just click through to these to work on them. But this shouldn't be a lot of content here. It's mostly just, it's a map. That's why it's a mock. It's a map of contents, not a, a full summary of each individual subtopic. So that is how I do mine. And what again, what, what I will do is I have these three, the fleeting, the literature, map of content. I will just put it in a pastebin file, put it in the comment below, I, or in, I guess, in the show note, whichever I, I can put it in. I, I'll probably just put it in both. I, and then you can just copy paste it into an empty note, name it however you want to name it, put it in the templates folder, and you'll be good to go. And you will spend less time messing around with this and more time uh, watching and researching and thinking than I have spent putting this video together for you. Uh, if this was useful, let me know. If I missed anything or you have any other questions about my very, very simple process, let me know. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.